back to the full English with me, Matt Riley, as we look ahead to yet another crucial game on Sunday at six o'clock, our final game, away game against BC Terro. The game on Sunday will be played simultaneously with Buri Ram, and of course Buri Ram will be desperate for a win against Bangkok United. Bangkok United though, although they're now free of relegation worries, will be able to relax and try to upset the Thundercastle team. So, look at the connections between BC Taro and Mung Tong, and there's a great deal of them. For example, Robert Procura was here many years ago and he helped set up Cova Coaching and was instrumental in the early development of the team. Of course, René Desaira, our head coach now, was recently at BC Taro for only three months. And also, at the beginning of both clubs, was uh, Warawi Makudi, the recently re-elected head of the Thai FA. Not only that, but Coach Tack, now at Bangkok Glass, was also the coach from 2000 until 2004 at BEC Terro, and of course he had a great deal of success as well at SCG Mung Tong United. So, BC Terro, they're having a difficult season. At the moment, they're seventh, they're two points behind Army United, and they're five points ahead of a Sotsapa. But, if you think about last season, they finished in third place. They were three points ahead of Buriram United. And already this year, unbelievably, BC Terro are 28 points behind the Thundercastle team. So it's been a very disappointing season for BC Terro. They've won 12 times and only four of those times were at home. And this is one of the problems that they have. Their 72 year anniversary stadium in Mimbri is very difficult to get to. It also has very small crowds and it's not a very good pitch because BC Terro are very much a passing team and the pitch does not lend itself to do that. And of course recently, one of their home games that they played when they won, or they lost, sorry, 2-1 at home had to be played at Tamasat because of the difficult conditions at at Minbury. in a little more detail at the BEC Terro team. There are four key players for the Fire Dragons. The first one, of course, is Clayton Silva. Last year, he was the joint top scorer in the Thai Premier League with our very own Mui on 24 goals. And if you remember the last game of the season, both players scored in that game. This season has not been quite so successful for Clayton. He's had 18 goals so far. Uh, on top of the goal scoring charts is Buri Ram's Carmelo on 23, a, a player who's pound for pound, I think is by far the best player in the Thai Premier League at the moment. At the moment, Mui has 15 goals, only three behind, with of course two games to go. For Clayton, those 15 goals, only four of them have come against top 10 teams. For example, he scored two goals against Bangkok Glass, he scored one against Sapambury, and he scored one against Police United. But he really is a very dangerous player. The second player is a very, very impressive young player called Tanabun. Now, Tanabun has just turned 20. He's a wonderfully gifted player. He's got two good feet, and he also makes the right decisions at the right time. He reminds uh, us older people of players like Alan Hansen that used to play in the very famous Liverpool team. So Tanabun is a real young, gifted player. He's had a little bit of a problem with his back this year, but he's, he's back into contention for the team. The next player is very easy to spot. He's Japanese, but he's got long blonde hair, which you don't see very often. Shimoji played here when uh, BC Tero played against Mung Tong and played extremely well. He's extremely hard working as a player and he lays on a lot of goals for other players. So he's someone we really need to have to look out for. And then the final player is what they call the Thai Messi. Uh, the Thai Messi Chunatip, who is a very diminutive player, very small player, but a very, very gifted player indeed. So these are the four key players that Mung Tong really have to look out for on that game on Sunday. But they'll be feeling very confident as they aim to get some points on the board. Of course, Buri Ram, they have to win that game. A draw for Buri Ram and a victory for Mung Tong would set up the final game extremely well for SCG, the last game of the season at home to against Chinat uh, on the 3rd of November, which will be a great opportunity to see out the season. SCG Mung Tong United, 
ready for ASEAN, ready for the AEC.